to our channel 3 minutes master where you can learn any concept in 3 minutes in this video i want to give you a basic idea regarding compiler interpreter assembler all these things are translators let's go ahead in general what is a translator why translators are required in general if at all we want to convert one particular language content into another language there is a basic use of translators Certainly, in computer programming, we require to translate the content of one particular programming language that is in human readable format to a machine understanding language. For this purpose, we are required to have certain translators. Now, in prayer, let us discuss what are various categories of languages. The first one is high level language. In high level language, it contains the data in human readable format whereas in low level language it contains the data in machine readable format and next one is assembly level language which contains certain codes let's start our task with a compiler the compiler scans the entire program and translates the high level language content into machine level language content all at once now programming languages like c c plus plus java use these compilers next coming to the rough interpreter this particular interpreter translates the program that is in high level language to machine level language in a line by line fashion here you can observe first it translates the first instruction and later second and later the third and then the last so this is how interpreter works here programming languages like python ruby etc use this interpreter and the last one is assembler in assembler it contains certain predefined codes these predefined codes will be translated all at once an assembler translates a program written in assembly level language into machine language and it is effectively called as a compiler for the assembly level language thank you thanks for watching my video